WWE is a PG show, so how do they get away with saying stuff like this? I wish you luck, dude. You're gonna need it. Because we all know you don't have it here, and we all know you don't have it here. You really need to work on that last bit. Dominic might be Dirty Dom, but Rhea Ripley is pretty nasty too. Listen to this and see if you can figure out the double meaning. Mommy's always right, just like mommy's always on top. One time, Rhea went so far that WWE actually had to censor her. On Raw, Judgment Day's Finn Balor and Damian Priest were competing in a tag team turmoil match. Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio were on the outside, and Ripley ended up going too far. Eventually, Finn and Priest found themselves fighting Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. When Alexander was a legal man, he made some small talk with Rhea. Hey, a good life. The kids go. WWE ended up censoring this once the match was uploaded to the WWE Network. PG-13 movies are only allowed one F-bomb, so obviously saying the F-word is out of the question on a PG show like WWE. Despite that, one WWE wrestler found a creative way to get around that. The final episode of SmackDown before the Elimination Chamber took place in Quebec, Sami Zayn's home province. Zayn was set to take on Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Sami started speaking French and snuck in a word that he normally wouldn't be allowed to say. Roman Reigns, écoute-moi bien. Demain soir, t'es chez moi, tabarnak. Sami Zayn was pretty clever with how he dropped the F bomb. This next wrestler wasn't so careful and nearly got caught. On NXT, the Dean of Chase University, Andre Chase, was hosting an awards ceremony to celebrate Thea Hale's victory that she had recently accomplished. During the speech, however, Andre got a bit carried away. She looked fear right in the eye and she didn't blink. She said, Fear, you don't scare me, motherfucker. One of the most defining moments of Doc Mysterio's career is when he got arrested and went to prison. That wasn't too adult, but what was, was when Edge made a gay joke at the expense of ex con Dom. But the biggest difference between you and us is that we truly have each other's backs. But you, all of you, you drop each other quicker than ex-con Don dropped his drawers in the clink. Which is fitting considering how many times you've screwed your dad over. I don't know why, but a lot of people in WWE really, really hate Dominic Mysterio. Even Michael Cole went TV 14 on Dom Dom. This kid stinks. You gotta be kidding me. You guys let this kid get out of control. This kid is an absolute piece of Watch shit. Watch your mouth, Michael Cole. Probably the greatest moment of 2023 was seeing the return of CM Punk. Everyone was losing their mind seeing the strange superstar back in WWE, and technically, Seth Rollins was losing his mind too, just not in the way everyone else was. Perhaps it shouldn't be a surprise that when WWE brought back the No Mercy pay-per-view, there would be some non-PG things. In the main event, Becky Lynch defended the NXT Women's Championship against Tiffany Stratton in an Extreme Rules match. The fight had your typical WWE weapons, chairs, tables, and Barbie dolls, but it also had something you wouldn't expect. After brawling for 15 minutes, the man pulled out a barbed wire baseball bat, the same weapon hardcore wrestlers like McFoley would use. Luckily for Tiffany Stratton, she was able to stop Becky before Lynch could do much damage. WWE is PG, but the fans in London were not. John, I have watched every one of your movies. The representation the symbol that Roman Reigns is the head of the table. During the trial of Sami Zayn, things got pretty heated. It was so heated, in fact, that Paul Heyman said this. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I beg of you, and I'm not a begging man, to find this rat bastard guilty as charged. You might say that wasn't a big deal, but hey, Brad Maddox got fired for saying the word prick. Obviously, WWE wasn't gonna fire Paul Heyman, and Heyman knew that. Sheamus also knew his contract was bulletproof and decided to add some colorful language to his vocabulary too. But I thought you were my brother. But you're not. You're just a backstabbing bastard. 
Not only was this next clip not PG, but it was also extremely savage. Before Jay Uso teamed with Cody Rhodes to take on the Judgment Day, Jay decided to meet his opponents face to face. While Finn Balor and Damian Priest were Uso's competition, he couldn't help but take a shot at his former leader, Roman Reigns. Hey, cause it looks like there's a new travel chief on Monday night. And apparently, she has bigger balls than Roman Reigns ever did. I don't know why, but everyone was making fun of the Mrs. Balls in 2023. At WrestleMania 39, Pat McAfee challenged the A-lister to an impromptu match. However, Mizzy chickened out, saying he didn't have the authority to make matches. McAfee gave a not-so-PG response. Miz, I do believe your tiny balls are showing. <laughs> About a month later, the Miz is interviewing Shinsuke Nakamura, and Nakamura gave the A-lister a free Japanese lesson. You are the guy of Chisai Kintama. I love it. It sounds amazing. What's it translate to? It means the guy with tiny balls. The Miz really needs to screen his guests before bringing them on his show. A few months after the Shinsuke incident, Miz had Becky Lynch on the show. The most must-see WWE superstar pushed a bit too far, and the man let him have it. Now I know how your stupid little show works. I know I'm not the only guest coming out here, so why don't you bring Trish Stratus out before you lose your tiny testicles? However, the best joke at Miz's expense comes from LA Knight. If you want to make this personal, now that you have, I don't mind making you a stepping stone. Stepping stone? Stepping stone? Don't get hot. I ain't talking about your little stepping stones down there. Now, to see the best and worst of WWE in 2023, hit the playlist on screen.